Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, God Reveals Love. And it is taken from 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. The Apostle John writes, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and is now in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are from the world. Therefore they speak from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation, the covering for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. A John says that God's love was made manifest. Love. One of the things that we would know absolutely nothing about if God didn't reveal it to us first. Some people, however, think that they know all what there is to know about love. When they hear that God is love and that the commandment of love is the most important of all of the commandments, then they assume that they know what Christianity is all about. Some even correct their Christian friends and tell them how they should be. They say that a Christian should be kind, that they shouldn't judge. They also say that you can't claim that others are wrong or that there are false teachings about God that can be dangerous. They say that we must understand that all people are God's children even if they don't show their Christianity outwardly by attending church or receiving communion. Now, please hear me out. These kinds of thinking about love is obviously wrong. Scriptures clearly tell us that we should judge. There are false teachings out there about God that's obviously dangerous. All people are God's children. However, many people have rejected him. Many people are baptized, and that means that they are, sadly, not God's children. They're part of his creation, but they're not his child yet. In this text, the Apostle John speaks intensely and intimately about love. And at the same time, he also sincerely warns us about false teachings and false prophets. Notice, John doesn't digress from the objective when he points out false teaching. 
It's false. If it doesn't clearly confess that Jesus is God's son who came in the flesh. In other words, Jesus became man and that God sent him as the atonement, the covering for our sins. In that way, God's love became manifest and it was revealed to us. That's what God's love is. It loves sinners like you and me who are hopelessly separated from this divine kind of love. And to win us back, God offered up his only son. Each and every one of us who doesn't confess Jesus in this way is not of God. Anyone who denies this and teaches this denial to others is also dangerous for others. John doesn't hesitate at all to say that this is the spirit of the Antichrist. There is a spiritual force that wants to destroy what Jesus came to accomplish. So, however kind someone is, the denial of Christ is dangerous and fatal. As clear and relentless as John is on this point, he is also equally clear when it comes to pointing out that God really is love, that he wants love, that everyone who knows him and lives in his fellowship possesses love, and that love is kindness, mercy, helpfulness, and a generosity that would give one's life for one's friends. God's love is a relentless rejection to lies and boundless generosity towards those who are lost. Let us pray. Lord, it's so easy to just be kind to others. So teach us about your love. We are all sinners and need mercy. Help us to see that's exactly why we all need your truth and salvation. It's so unmerciful to conceal it and pretend to think that there are other paths than the one that you have paved. Help us maintain your truth and do it out of love, only love, not irritated, not condemning, not with reluctance toward anyone, but only because you love all of us and we all need you. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.